Hi everyone, it's Dale coming to you from another wooded area. Uh, this time it's not in southern Florida or a place where there's uh, snakes and alligators and things I've spoken about in previous podcasts. You can actually check those out if you haven't listened to them. But today I'm just simply coming from a wooded area near my home here in the Carolinas. I wanted to stop and just say thank you for those who have continued the journey of um, the amazing uh, Bible journey. Uh, I've touched base with some individuals who are still pursuing uh, yearly reading for those who have started in January. And I will say that if those are listening today and maybe you started later, maybe you're thinking about starting, it doesn't really matter when you start. If you go to AmazingBibleJourney.com, that uh, discipline will show you how to go about uh, getting involved in a reading plan. It doesn't have to be annual. Uh, so you, there's lots of options. I just want to make sure that as we move on, sometimes I don't speak a lot about that, but it's really about getting inside the Bible, reading, ingesting, understanding, and learning from it, especially in our role as we stand before those who believe in Jesus Christ. One of the things I wanted to talk about today as you have been on your journey is the days when things are tough and they go wrong and we become frustrated. And even when we feel that we're attempting to do things right, we want to honor God with our lives. Uh, we sometimes just simply get out of sorts and go down our own path. I'm sure that's never happened to you, but not too long ago, actually we're in Florida, uh, we were getting some work done and had a concrete pad poured at our location there. And as that event was ongoing, uh, one of the managers of the park that we live in uh, came up and was having a conversation and basically uh, had some poor communication uh, that uh, was lending her to stop well, the work that was going on. Uh, bottom line was uh, we didn't do that, but in the middle of all that, I became immediately frustrated and was not harsh, but uh, more direct than I should have been. So I talked to Julie about it. My wife went and actually into the office a little later and I spoke to that individual publicly, apologized and said, you know, I was out of step. Um, I didn't mean to get frustrated and take that out on you. I thought we had everything worked out from bookend to bookend, but that wasn't the case. But sometimes we have to just step back on our own humility and say, I'm wrong. Because I think that's one of the greatest things we can do when we walk um, in, in the steps that Christ took. We need to humble ourselves and know that we won't be perfect. We're never going to be perfect in this life, but we can have opportunity to show others what it's like to have a heart of forgiveness. And as you look forward to where you are in your Bible reading, do stop occasionally, explore where you are, you can um, go online and say, what does this passage mean? Uh, if you've never used Google Scholar, it's actually a pretty good uh, free source where you can get uh, more vetted information as opposed to just general searches. And I can give you lots of other um, information as well. But a lot of it is contained in the AmazingBibleJourney.com. Again, AmazingBibleJourney.com. Go there. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll continue to keep you prompted on upcoming events and uh, special videos, those kinds of things. I do want to highlight um, one section today of a, of a book in the book of John, just as a good learning as we get ready to step away from this. Uh, if you go to the 15th chapter of John, uh, Jesus is speaking about the vine and the branches and Jesus being the vine and the disciples are those who serve him as the branches. And he goes to the very first part of this chapter and basically says, what is not useful, I cut off and I throw into the, away in the fire. And this is Jesus speaking in a parable, again, a story that has a message within it. And as you get down to verse eight, he says this very pronounced thing. He says, when you produce much fruit, you are my true disciple. This brings great glory to my father. And that's in John 15, eight. What, what's to emphasize there is that there's an expectation from God that we do learn and grow. So I would suggest if you haven't done this and, and then you're exercising, say, God, what, what can I do? What, how can I grow through scriptures? Just pray that and ask him to speak to you. And I think you'll find amazing things occurring. Look for more videos upcoming. I'm so proud of those of you are reading. Hey, spread the word. Let's get people involved. Let's get on this journey together and what, let's together grow in relationship with Jesus and become more like him every step of the way. Thank you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you again soon. Signing out. See you.